Hey everybody, I thought I'd make this quick tutorial to show you how to open up a project in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is going to be really quick, uh, just for you who don't have probably any experience with Adobe Premiere. Anyway, as soon as you open it, this is the first window that opens up. These will be your recent projects, but uh, if you have not done this before, then you probably don't have any recent projects. Anyway, you go to New Project, and first you'll see... Uh, your capture format, I'm going to be doing HDV, which is high definition, obviously. Uh, ta -ta, whatever, I just have these going as uh, defaults. Um, you want to set your scratch disk. Uh, I do all mine. Uh, these will be all your different kinds of uh, scratch disks. Well, not different scratch disks, but different things that your uh, computer will automatically save, which is really helpful if you on accident delete your project or something like that which I've done before on accident but I've been saved anyway I do all these same as project but you can obviously browse and select a different scratch disk for different things if you want but that's not what I'm going to do I'm going to save them all in my project folder and I'll show you how to do that you go down here to location well you make all these same as project obviously because this will be your project name I'll go ahead and name this uh, starting Premiere. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and browse and figure out where to put this. Uh, I have my Premiere projects and my different tutorials. And I'll go ahead and just make a new folder called Starting Premiere. Create that new folder and I'll choose and just click choose inside the folder that you want to pick. And then, bam, all these should change to the right path as your same project, and you click OK. And now, this is, this is interesting. Um, you go ahead and pick whatever you're working on. I usually work on my DSLR, um, uh, 720.4p, and uh, it works well for me, but uh, if you do 1080, that's cool too. Uh, I usually work with 1080, I don't know why it's under 720 right now. But uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and open that up, make a tile, make a sequence name. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name this, you know, I'm, sequence one is fine with me, I don't really care. Open that up, and it'll take a second, and here are all your windows. Okay, awesome. So here's your uh, timeline. Uh, if you want to bring in something, let's see, I'll just import something really quick. Go ahead and go to File, Import, or you can just click Command-I. Um, let's see, what is something, you know what, I bet you I can find something in my Movies folder that we can bring in. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring in this quick documentary I made a couple years ago. Um... And I'll show you really quick. So this is my documentary that I made. It's five minutes and 30 seconds long. Um, you can double click it. And it'll come up here in your uh, viewer. And you can go ahead and scrub through your whole thing and say, uh, let's say we can push I for in. We can push O for out. That's what I usually do when I have my longer clips. And then you can go ahead and click it and drag it down to your timeline. And obviously my clip isn't the same as my timeline because I quickly just imported the wrong thing. So I'm going to go ahead and change my sequence settings. Uh, probably a smart thing to do if you're not messing around with uh, time lapse or anything like that. Um, push space and you can play it. So anyway, that's really quick how you open up something and import it into Adobe Premiere Pro. This is CS6, but uh, I can't imagine it's too different with CS5 or CS4. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, have fun making your projects. Thanks for watching.